What do you know about the history of fashion? Here's an interesting fact, a lot of today's trends are revivals of trends that have existed in the past. This is particularly interesting when we look at controversial fashion trends, and today we will explore the history of men's leggings. That leggings are only for women is a very recent opinion. In fact, men have been wearing leggings for centuries, long before yoga pants became a thing. Let's go back to ancient times. Leggings were a common garment for both men and women in many cultures, such as the Greeks, Romans, Persians, and Egyptians. They were usually made of wool, linen, or leather, and they provided warmth and protection for the legs. They were also easy to move in, which was important for warriors, hunters, and athletes. Moving to the Middle Ages, leggings were still popular among men, especially in Europe. They were called hose or shows, and they were often worn under tunics or robes. They could be tight or loose, long or short, and sometimes they were even different colors for each leg. They were also sometimes attached to a belt or a codpiece, then we come to the Renaissance, where men's leggings became even more elaborate and fashionable. They were often made of silk or velvet and decorated with embroidery or lace. They were sometimes padded or stuffed to create a more muscular appearance. Some men wore them with short breeches or skirts, while others wore them with long coats or cloaks. In the 18th and 19th centuries, leggings became less common among men in the Western world. They were mostly worn by soldiers and sailors as part of their uniforms. They were usually made of wool or canvas, and they covered the lower leg from the knee to the ankle. They were also sometimes called gaiters or spats. In the 20th century, leggings have made a comeback amongst men in various subcultures and movements. For example, in the 1920s and 1930s, jazz musicians wore zoot suits with baggy trousers that tapered at the ankles. In the 1950s and 1960s, rock and roll stars wore tight leather pants that hugged their legs. In the 1970s and 1980s, punk and glam rockers wore colorful or metallic leggings that matched their outfits and had adornments such as sequins and metallic prints. In the 21st century, men's leggings are becoming more and more popular across a wide range of occasions and activities. Some wear them for sports and fitness such as running, cycling, yoga, or dance. Some wear them for comfort and leisure such as lounging at home or traveling. Some wear them for fashion and expression such as layering them under shorts or pairing with boots or sneakers. So there you have it, the history of men's leggings in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And let us know in the comments, what do you think of men's leggings? Do you wear them yourself? Why or why not? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and see you next time.